Okay, today we're going to show you how to do a kill counter. Uh, you can see in the right side it says Kareel has a point. And then if you attack an enemy and you kill them, it gives you a point. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. Put myself in creative here. Okay, so um, you're going to have these set of command blocks. This sets up the objectives. Go ahead and copy everything you see here. Pause if you need to. Next command is displaying it. Here's what you need. Pause if you need to. OK, so that's the easy part. That's setting up the scoreboard, so it says kills. OK. Here, um, as you test it, I'm going to reset this here. As you test it, this will set the objective, this will display it, and you'll see just kills there. That's what you should see after you do this deal. Okay. Next thing, the way this function works is it puts a bedrock um, in your inventory and it locks it. Then it, if it detects it after you fall, if it falls out, then it gives that nearest person to the piece of bedrock a point. Okay. So this is repeat, unconditional, always active. This is 500 ticks. You may want to play around with this. If you notice that your kills are not registering after every kill, you might want to make this a smaller number. Um, you'll have to play around with this. If you have a lot of players, you might have to make this a larger number. Um, depends on your game type. But 500 ticks, I found, is a good, comfortable median. Okay, so copy everything you see here. Here's the what you need to type in the chat or in the command. Uh, make sure to spell everything correctly. Pause if you need to. Because if you miss one little comma, one, these are colons, not semicolons. Um, these are colons, not semicolons. But if you miss one little colon or a quotation, the whole thing will not work. So make sure you do it correctly. This will occasionally clear the inventory because it's always giving you one. So just make sure you only have one bedrock piece um, at a time. Okay, again, make this, whatever this number is, make it match the block beforehand. They have to be the same number. So you give a piece of bedrock and it takes away a piece of bedrock. Okay, you could use any item uh, or any block, but bedrock is easy to spell um, and easy to, to, to figure out. You could put a diamond, you could put other things, but for this example, it's just easier to use something easy to spell like bedrock. Um, okay, but copy all this as you see it. Now for counting points, it is these two commands. So uh, make sure the arrows are facing the correct order. You can put them horizontal as well, but I did them going up and down. Repeat, unconditional, always active. No delay in ticks here. Here is the command you need to have. Pause if you need to. Again, if you do one little thing out of order or you forget a quotation or you forget a uh, bracket, it will not work. Also, when you're doing it, make sure that I'm using kills. You can use whatever you want. Make sure you pay attention to whatever you wrote in the beginning. If it's kills or kill or capital K kills, whatever this is, make sure it matches exactly what you have over here in the set objectives. Okay? So mine's kills, lowercase k. Uppercase and lowercase k might as well be different, uh, different things, different words. Okay? Next thing, this is a chain, conditional, always active. So a chain means that it happens in a chain of events. Conditional means that the block before has to work. Always active. Um, here is the command you need to type. This is pretty easy. Just make sure don't, don't forget anything. What this one does, once it detects it on the ground, after it gives you a point, it's going to get rid of it. OK? All right, so to test this out, put myself back into survival. This works in um, adventure mode, but since I am by myself, and uh, I can't break things in adventure mode it, or testing it. I want to test it on the armor stands because when I break an armor stand, I drop the item. Um, right. So just like when you kill an enemy, they drop items. That's the same way that this works. So he's going to drop that bedrock and he dropped mm -hmm. the armor stand and gave me a point. Okay. Um, works with players. I'm going to show you the armor stands just for now. Okay. So now I have three points. Uh, there's other ways to do this. So I put five pieces of bedrock in here. So for example, if you needed to like, I don't know, add bonus points or something, if I just broke this, 
And when I break it, it will detect five pieces and give me five points. So now I have eight points for my three. Okay. Um, different ways to use this. It doesn't have to be kills. It could be like collecting items where you have to break a chest to get the items or the points, or whatever it is. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right. Oh.